channel. I know it's been a while since I said that, but let's just jump right into the video. So today I'm using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill uh, Ring the Alarm palette. I love this palette. It just screams fall to me and I'm this is like the first look I'm doing, but I'm gonna be making so many more videos and more eye looks with this palette. It's just the perfect blend of like warm tones and shimmers and stuff, and that's like right up my alley. It's so bomb and I love it. So going in with the first orange transition transition shade. And I'm just building that up in um, above my crease actually. And I'm just gonna blow it out in a Jaclyn Hill term. <laughs> she always blowing out some shadows. So I'm just gonna blow the shadow out on the top and just go windshield wiper motions and just blend it above my crease until there's like no harsh lines, till I like it. I'm going to take Alert, which is a deeper orange than Rush is. Rush is kind of like a warm tone neutral orange and Alert is like a, like a good brick orange. So I'm gonna take that and put that in my crease. So I put Rush above my crease and I'm gonna put Alert in my crease and it's gonna just help Alert kind of like blend out a lot better and the transition will be very smooth, very, very smooth, so. Now going in with Mugshot, which is like my absolute favorite, one of my favorite colors, but like that is like a bomb warm brown. I love Mugshot, it's so bomb. So I'm literally just packing that in my outer V and um, blending it towards my lid. Like when I say I'm packing it on there, like I'm just, I'm just gonna keep adding it on until it's like dark enough for me. That's the one thing about these um, shadows, they're so pigmented. So I'm going in lightly with the crease colors, but if you pack them on like I'm doing Mugshot, it's it's so much pigment. So it's just gonna get darker and darker. So you just work it up until you like it. So now I'm gonna take Boom, which is a really pretty rose gold kind of copper shade. I'm just gonna put that in the center of my mobile lid, rocking that back and forth in Mugshot and in the center of my lid. And then over top and kind of in my inner corner, I'm gonna take On Camera, which is a really like true gold. It's more of like a yellow gold, not just, not completely a true gold, but it's a really, really pretty yellow gold color. So with Boom and On Camera and Mugshot, like I just felt autumn leaves. Like I was so ready for fall with this eyeshadow palette. And like I said, there's more looks to come. So please subscribe, stay tuned, like this video and comment below if you have any suggestions. You see that? Oh my gosh, bomb. added a little more of rush that light orange color and I just do that just to smooth out the edges every time I add a new color I feel like I have to smooth out the edges so I'm taking a smaller tapered brush and I'm gonna go under my waterline with rush and alert 
almost forgot the name of it, with Rush and Alert, I'm going under my waterline. And then with the same brush, the small taper brush on the other side of it, the clean side, I'm just gonna add on camera in my waterline. love how this eye look came out so my camera overheated I was gonna put my lashes on and show my lashes on camera but so I came back once I you know cooled my camera down and everything and I'm, I'm using the foaming lashes by kiss in the style midnight they're $5.99 from Walgreens guys so bomb so I'm dusting off my airspun powder with um, L'Oreal true match in n7 the pressed powder just to bring color back to my face, I don't wanna look ashy, okay? Not that the air spun does that, but sometimes I just like to be extra beat and put the uh, powder foundation on my face too. So now with the BH Cosmetics um, Studio Contour Palette, I will be taking that color because there's no names and bronzing up my face. And just look how pretty Boom and On Camera blend into each other. Like, Jacqueline went off on this palette and all the other palettes are really pretty too. This one just really stood out to me. But like, all the colors just go so well together. It's like a really well put together palette. And oh my gosh, guys, let's not even talk about how dry my lips are. I sat down in front of the camera and I could not find my chapstick and I was being lazy and didn't want to get up to get my chapstick and this is the result so please don't drag me in the comments I know they're crusty so I'm gonna take the shade alert which is a really pretty orange um, I didn't have a blush to match so I'm just going in with eyeshadow as my blush and it worked out really well I didn't want to use like a pink color cuz I didn't really think it was gonna go well, like a rose-colored blush, so I just used that orange. And it turned out really good. So now I'm taking Dripping in Gold from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight Palette. And just gonna highlight my face. Now I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs, um, it's actually an eyeliner in, what's this called, brownie, but it's like so bomb as a lip liner because like when you put it on, it stays put, like you'll be washing this off 
at night with your foundation. Like, it stays on there. It doesn't come off when you eat or drink, which I love. So you really would just have to reapply, reapply your um, lipstick. So I'm going in with that, and now I'm going to use the NYX. Um, shoot, what is these? <laughs> Not the butter gloss, but the, the matte cream ones. I forget what they're called. They're not called matte cream. It's a cuter name. But it's in Abu Dhabi. Soft matte, soft matte cream lipsticks, I think. <laughs> I'll put it in the description box. But it's so pretty. So it's um, Abu Dhabi and it dries really pillow soft matte. And my lips were screaming. So now they're like, thank you for covering us up. We're not so crusty anymore. And I really use that lip liner to like contour my lips and like it makes it look so so pretty to me You know if you're not into lip liner, you can always like skip this step, but you know, this is how I do my lips. I love them Not love them. I love this technique I mean, I love my lips too, but I love this technique um, And just go back over it wherever the um, lip liner looks harsh but you guys see the contour and how pretty it comes out. Oh, it looks so pretty. Now, for the star of the show, is this hair by Clay Hair on Amazon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But you guys, I'm like getting excited just looking at it and like doing the voiceover for it. When I tell you this frontal came pre-plugged that I did not touch this frontal, all I did was bleach the knots and put it on my head. I did not plug this frontal at all. I did not put tweezers to this frontal at all. It's popping. It's so pretty. It's perfect. So this is the Brazilian straight hair. And I got all 18s. Three bundles of 18 inch Brazilian straight with a Brazilian straight 18 inch frontal. Because I just wanted to go for a more like a natural look. I'm always in like 26 24 22 I'm like let me get all 18 and it's so bomb I love it so this is a natural color didn't dye this hair um I had it up in a bun so this is kind of like the natural luster of it and um yeah so I'm just combing it out I know I probably shouldn't be using this comb but like I said I was being lazy didn't even want to get up to get my chapstick so I was not getting another brush or comb either but this is so so pretty this is kind of the natural state it has a little more of a wave when it's wet but i blow dried it so oh and i washed it twice and it just gets better each time you wash it i use the guardian fructis you know the sleek and shine i used it in my other videos too and it's just so bomb on weave to me and look at this hairline guys look at how pretty the hairline is oh my gosh get into it So please don't be mad, but my camera died. <laughs> Y'all probably over me by now, but my camera died, so I couldn't show how I got it like smooth and like putting it up in a ponytail and stuff. But if you want to see a tutorial on like a detailed tutorial on this hairstyle, just comment below and I'll just record the video just for the hairstyle. But this hair is so so pretty. I ran the flat iron through it a couple times already just to get out the the um dents from it because I had it in a bun and it's just so soft and pretty and natural and you guys see the length I'm talking about like that 18 just make it look cute like I didn't want nothing super duper long I feel like long hair is for the summer and like shorter hair is for the fall but that could just be me but you see how flowy this hair is and for people who might ask I do glue down my frontals I use the uh, ghost bond ultra hold extreme hold one of those the ghost bond glue and it's totally fine on my hair it doesn't damage my hair at all what did damage my hair though was that got to be like i cannot use that i guess it's all the alcohol in it but 
it had my hair just breaking all around the front so I had to stop using that like last year but the ghost bond glue is really really good I like it so and it lasts like two weeks like tell me if I'm bugging like it looks super bomb to me so yeah I'll leave all the links below for this hair um yeah try it out and if you guys try it out tag me in your pictures i want to see if y'all's as cute as mine because i'm feeling myself with this right now so thank you guys so much for watching y'all know i love y'all and um yeah don't forget to comment subscribe um i love you guys bye i'm still talking i don't know why bye bye